I fell as a pre-K special ed teacher chasing a runaway child and I was misdiagnosed basically for two years. I injured myself um, trying to take very tangled clothes out of the dryer um, at work. It was a gradual, it wasn't a true accident, so it gradually happened. Um, when I finally reached a point of pain is when I sought medical attention. That much pain just makes you depressed because you can't do nothing. The pain is so bad, you know, you're laying on your stomach anywhere in your house. I was misdiagnosed basically for two years. I mean, basically they told me I was crazy. Every physician that I saw said that I was never going to be better than I was at that time. Because all the indications were there. I think that if the right questions had been asked, um, I think we would have gotten there a whole lot sooner. I found doctors and, and a PA that listened to me and showed me, you know, that it could be something different than my back pain, you know, it was my SI joint. It's like I finally know what's wrong with me. Because all along I kept saying, I think you're missing something. When, when people would talk to me about my herniated discs. I woke up from surgery and that sharp knife-like pain was gone. 10 days post-op, I went to church. And I remember sitting in the car, looking up at my church and realizing that I had zero pain. I was able to walk, I was able to um, function and do things that I hadn't done in a long time. I do what I want because the pain's gone. After surgery, I am back to me. I, I had a chance at getting my life back. Because I have my life back.